guys, I'm back with a really awesome video for you today. I'm more excited than you probably are. So we have some new t capsule chicks. These just came out. Um, I just found them on the line, so these are new for 2020. This is the Capsule Chicks uh, Shimmer Surge Collection. Uh, it says that there's over 4 billion looks to create. And that you can build an own, build your own match and mix fashion doll. This is a two-pack, guys. I think this is how the new Shimmer Surge Collection is coming. So you have one that's revealed and one to build. And it, Okay. So there's a whole bunch of different things that are going on with this. So first off, if you guys can notice this, we have a new hair upgrade, they're calling it, um, with exclusive fashions. This hair upgrade is a wig. I don't know how the wig's going to work. Uh, we'll no we'll figure that out when we open up the package, but, uh, yeah, it's got a actual, um, nylon hair instead of the plastic hair, which I have mixed feelings about. I feel like part of their charm is, is the fact that they have, uh, non-rooted hair, but anyway, here's the box art. I love the box art for these. Uh, it, it give it has a very kawaii, very, uh, Japanese, uh, feel. I, I love it. Uh, so it says, look out for hair upgrades. So I don't know if we could possibly get another doll in here that has the uh, the rooted hair or wig hair or however the hair is. Uh, but over here it says, who will you find? Uh, surprise girl or boy. Yes, guys. There are, um, right down here. Hi, Blaze. Hi, Blaze. Say hi. Say hi. She just had some snacks. Um... Right down here it says, meet meet the new bot boy trend. Wait, bot boy on trend. So uh, there are three to collect. So you have three different opportunities to get uh, boys on this in this pack. And we'll talk about that after. Uh, capsule chicks, charge up your wardrobe. Find the real fabric pieces to spark up your imagination and hair upgrades to power up your style. Uh, there's four, over 400 pieces to collect. Which unique look will you get? Um... So yes, there's three different boys to find, and I think, I think, and I could be wrong, that there's four different packs that are showing, have a person, four different girls that are showing. Um, I was only able to find two, so yeah, <laughs> tomorrow's video, or the next video I do, uh, is gonna be the other pack, but, um, I, I, I babble too much to be able to open up two. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Um, now that I'm coughing my head off, I'm still I'm still fighting that cold. You know, it's never going to go away. So I'm going to kick this plastic off, and I will be right back, guys. Okay, what I was trying to say is that my biggest beef with this collection is that there are three or four different packs that have a girl showing, and that's it. But over here, there's going to be a multiple different amount of uh, things you can get. So, And these separate as two different boxes, so I don't know if in the future they're just going to sell this by itself. Which I would actually almost prefer, because you're getting an, an automatic double if you buy one that has the same girl on it. But I haven't actually seen... The packs that I got were two different separate packs. But this box is a completely different box than that box. So maybe uh, they're going to be selling these ones by themselves, and this by themselves, and this is like some sort of exclusive uh, setup here? I, 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 I don't know. I... I haven't seen enough of them to know, so... But let's get into our girl first that's already showing, because why not? She's already out for us to check out. Um, I wonder if... See, I don't see a stand for her. I hope that there's another stand piece... Um, in the... In the, uh... In this box, so that, that would be cool. Before we do anything with the doll, I just want to take a couple moments to take a look at the box art. Because Moose Toys, in my opinion, is one of the top dogs when it comes to bo box art. Things that don't really matter. So they're very, very good with their looks. Like, very appealing. Uh, this has a Tokyo-style box. You can... It looks like downtown Tokyo or... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I can't really say what it looks like. I know it looks like somewhere over there in Japan. Uh, we got uh, different writing from different... There's a super sale going on. And there's all kinds of other things going on that are not in English. And then the box has a sh like a shimmery look to it. Uh, okay, let's get our girl out here. So, 
take the plastic off. So here she is, guys. It's pretty weird. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's pretty weird already seeing one already built. But her torso has almost a mummy-type shirt, which is pretty cool. And um, it's got a gold necklace on it, or like a gold-painted, metallic-painted necklace on the white shirt. Uh, she's wearing a turquoise bracelet, so I guess that's the bracelet of the collection. Or washer communication device, whatever that is. Underneath her shirt is a little belt detail here. Uh, it, has, that been, has that been not focused the whole time? There we go. So we have a metallic blue belt that's painted on there. And there's also detail. You can see the strap buckle and stuff. And then she has this very shimmery skirt that wraps around and kind of comes to a triangle on both ends. It's really, really pretty. It doesn't look Velcro. It looks like a slide-on shirt, a skirt. I don't even know if it comes off. Well, you'd have to take her probably her whole body off. She has um, some hot or, I guess, neon yellow uh, tights and then these really awesome boots. Now, we've I think we've seen these boots before in a different color, but I could be wrong. Um, uh, I don't think those are the same boots. No, they're not the same boots that I have. Just kidding, guys. This is Moose, you know. And then, of course, her face detail we forgot to actually mention. She has um, lipstick on, if you guys can see that. I don't even know if it's if it's easy for you guys to see in the light. Her lips. Yeah, see, it's not... Let's see. Can you guys see that it's light blue on the bottom of her her, her lip and then pink on the top? It's really hard to, to pick up on camera. And then, um... Underneath one of her eyes, she has like a... I don't know what that is. It's like a shimmer spot that's done in pink. And I don't know if that's um, a paint flaw. No, because there's one above her eye, too. Right above her eyebrow. Very cyborgish. I like it. Her head's kind of loose, though, for a... Uh... That's okay. We're good. And then here's her um, purse, which we have seen before. In fact, I think I have it right in front, right on top from the... Uh... From series one, if they actually are series, because they don't really say series one, I don't think, on the other ones. But, uh, let me just see. Here. You guys see that? Same purse. Just recolored. I'm kind of okay with that, though. It still makes it a different purse, right? Now, let's get to the wig part here, or the hair part. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. It looks like it's one solid piece. It has a ponytail. It's dark purple, and then there's a streak of green in the middle of it. We're going to pull this off. Okay, guys, so underneath the wig, she has this piece, this clear plastic piece that goes into where her head is. And then there's a peg hole in there. <clears throat> and the peg hole in the bottom of the wig here. The wigs are made very nicely. It does have that ridge. That I, used, that I was complaining about that, you know, for the creator world that Mattel does. But the ridge itself uh, is not like a clear plastic. It doesn't stand out. It actually meshes really well with her hairline. So we're going to put it back on. Wait, actually, let me see if this is removable here first. I think this part right here is removable. Yeah, it is. Okay. So it's um, <clears throat> it's like a light purple transparent like cover that goes over the head. So it makes it round, and that's how the peg hole goes in. It's a very interesting technique that they went and did. Um, I'm very... It's very awesome. Nicely done, Moose. Uh, I'm going to put her back together now. I don't really hate the wigs. They're a little top-heavy, kind of a little frumpy, but uh, they're not too bad. They're actually... I, I like... I love the design. They were able to keep the same head mold... Well, the same type of head mold. And make a new technology wig upgrade. It's actually cool. Alright, uh, I'm going to pull this down. I wonder if we have a... Uh, if we get a little magazine with this. And I wonder if the capsules inside are going to be soft. Or if they're going to be soft plastic or hard plastic. Okay, so here is our magazine slash checklist here. Or tick list. Uh, you have this gorgeous artwork. 
a bunch of girls, gorgeous girls on here. And then you got one boy in the corner there. Oh, actually, there's a little boy peeking right here, too. Uh, Summer Surge Collection. Fashion Lookbook. Oh, that's what they call them, lookbooks. So we have Create a Doll here. We have the bots are here. Meet the newest boys on trends. They will rock the latest looks. Will you find a bot? I wonder how r hard to find they are, guys. I wonder if they're like limited edition or something. It doesn't say they are. So that's good. Mix and match. Summer surge. Okay, so we have rare hair is... Rare hair is... It looks like a star. Um, a hot pink star. And then rare fabric, it looks like, is a um, periwinkle double arrow. Okay. These books definitely look like they, they, they switched up the graphics a little bit. Here we go. Uh, is that a boy? No, that's a girl. I like her. She has like a... Um, an astronaut type look. They seem a little bit more cosm cosmic. That's our girl right there. Okay. Who will you find? Uh, it looks like I, I know. I remember that hair piece, and I remember that hair piece, but they're done in different colors. I I hope I hope they have different hairstyles, and they're not just recolored from this series, but we don't know. We have no idea. That looks like another, could be another hair girl. So I think that the hair girls are showing on this one. So, so we got this girl, the girl we just opened. That girl's probably another hair girl. And then, so maybe there is only three. Or three showing. I don't know. <laughs> Either way. So, um, who will you find? And then, of course, on the back, like all the other ones, it tells you how to set the stand up and tells you what to do if it jams up. So, let's go ahead and take a look. See what we get for our first, um, see what kind of things we got coming out of here. Okay. It looks like our capsules are um a really really pale turquoise color but uh the bags themselves are still pink let's see what we got guys for our first thing okay we have a torso and it is all metallic the colors anyway sorry so we have um a metallic base of the shirt we still have the signature di uh, dial, I guess you want to call it, in the back, in a metallic silver, metallic magenta, I guess, sleeves. I don't know, maybe metallic, yeah, I would say metallic purple. And they're like princess ruffle sleeves, so it's really pretty. Have we seen this before? I don't think so. I think that, that is, that's new. Oh, boy. Let's see. Can we get it to work, guys? Can we get it to work? Here comes. Oh, oh, I'm making, I'm making a big, big deal here. All right, here's our next one. And they've both been hard capsules, by the way. Remember one of my other videos? Um, most of mine, it was weird. It was all soft. They were all soft, really thin plastic capsules, except for one. I think this might be the head, maybe? Oh, no, it's torso. And a dress. So I guess we did not get a boy. But this is a dress, I think, that's on the box right here. Yes. So it is that metallic -y purple that sort of matches the top part of it. And it has almost like a, I don't know, like a, a wrap, like a robotic wiring wrap around it. So you got reds and you got uh, whites, and then you got that metallic purple background. And then the ruffles are a light turquoise so that's cool and then we have naked legs because you know 
when you're when you're living in the shimmer surge, you don't need you don't want to have thick leggings on when you're wearing a skirt. And here is our next our third surprise here. And it's softer plastic. I think this is our shoes, guys. Okay, we have a purse. Uh, we've seen this disco purse before in a in a silver color, but this one is a metallic. Um, what color do you think this is? Like a watermelon pink. We have our bracelet, and we have um like a pearlescent. Yeah, like a per pearlescent. We've seen these shoes before too. Silver. But uh, we haven't seen them in that color. So that's good. At least they recolored them. The skirt's new to me though. I haven't seen that skirt before in that design. It doesn't necessarily mean it isn't a recolor from the other ones. I just never ran into it. Okay. Let's see here. So our next surprise that we have here, I don't, it's the hair. Ha! Huh. We have sun, we have glasses, guys. So we have these cute little glasses that are uh, transparent, and the lenses are painted in a metallic magenta. And here is our hair. I think this is a new hair, guys. It looks like feathers. It's got feathers and it, oh, it's really cool. It's really cool. I thought it was something that I've seen before, but it's not, I don't think. I'll, I'll pull down the girl that I thought it was later and I'll, I'll compare them. And, uh, so the next one has to be, what's the next one have to be? Our, our, whoa, guys, I can't figure out what this is going to be. Maybe it's an accessory pack with, uh, the stand tops or something. So we already have the, oh, we haven't actually gotten our face yet. It has to be our face. <laughs> okay, guys, let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a comb. Well, that was that's new. We have a light turquoise comb. The comb design, if you guys can see it, has a dial on the top of it. And then it moves down with all its little electronic cir circuit boards. And it says capsule chick on it. Capsule chicks. That's cool. And then, yes, we have two stand tops, so we're going to have stands for both of our girls. And what face do we have? Wow, cool face. Is this the same face? No, it's a different face. So the, the face actually has um, dark purple circuit. I guess I, want, I don't know if, what, what to call it. Circuit, maybe? Cir circuit lines or wire lines or robotic lines, cyborg lines. And, it, and then we have a green eyebrow with a little bit of a trace of yellow for highlighting. And then the eyes are green. And then she has an open, uh, she has an open smile with her teeth showing. So I think that might actually be new. And then her lips are just a tad bit of a blue color on the bottom and a little bit of pink on the top. So we're going to get her dressed up and we will um, be right back, guys. Okay, guys, here are our girls all made up and together. <clears throat> I think she's really awesome, guys. I love her glasses so much. I wasn't able to get glasses like this, I don't think. No, I wasn't able to get glasses like this um, on any of the other, um, in the other series, sorry. I know they existed, but I never got them, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, there are a couple of recolors in here for, I know, for this and this, but I think, and the purse, but... Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the new line. Um, I think the wig goes on geniusly. The glasses stay on perfectly with the holes in the ears. Um, so I don't, I didn't say it. I don't think before this retails. I, I got this from Target uh, for twenty four ninety nine. It seems a little steep, but when you do the math, it's about what they've been costing um, from the beginning. They're usually about fourteen ninety nine, and you're getting two girls here. And then, of course, the big pack was about 50 bucks. So, uh, they're right on par with their own pricing. Uh, and their detail work is, is small and amazing. Um, yeah, so, do I recommend them? Absolutely. And I will be reviewing another pack soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. 
Uh, other than that, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And me and Blaze will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.